am excited to come back to some new updates to this ever improving game. We have some new world modifiers, but I need to reset my cycle first. So instead, today's challenge for myself is that I must install pipes in every building I can and turn on all the rain engines. I want to see how many black rot cysts we end up getting, how good the buffs on the buildings are, and I just I need to learn the limits of this new rain punk system since I haven't played too much since it got updated. So I'm going to put this on Prestige 10 because we get a much bigger impact from the Blight Rod at Prestige 10. So none of these groups have more pipes, unfortunately. But these two either like being in the Rain Collector or they do chance to do double in the Rain Collector. Let's just go Harpies because they have more people and that can uh, help staff our Rain Collectors. So over here, I'm going to get oil to help solve Glade events. Planks to help us build Rain Collectors. Just some extra food. And then more people is always good. Okay, so we start with Finders Keepers. Every trade route you complete during Drizzle will give you five random packs of goods. Ooh! And Hostility one is a speed decrease and a resolve penalty if they're not housed. So let's get wood cutting. We have... Well, we're surrounded by quite a few small glades, but that's okay. We have a dangerous one over here. This is such an interesting layout for the hearth. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's put... Okay, we start with a beaver and a lizard. Let's put you guys in there and then the rest with... Uh, puppies. Let's put the rain collector down. Yeah, oh, this is perfect. We're going to put at least one, probably a second one. I don't really know how fast or good these collectors are on their own because I haven't really played much since the update. So I'll put that one down and see how that goes. And then, oh, the cornerstone is up. Let's have a look. Oil for flour, leather, grain, or meat. The trees here give meat, but it can overtake our woodcutters quite a bit. But it, it can really help with jerky, and these two love jerky, so yeah, why not? Let's, let's try it. <laughs> and then we have the buildings here. Herbalist Ranch. Hmm. Our meat production will be fine. I'm actually thinking of the provisioner. We'll figure that out soon enough. Our rain collector is up. So chuck you in there now. So it'll be drizzle water and the tanks hold 50 each. Yeah. Next thing. I guess I maybe I should just choose the building then. Yeah, let's go provisioner. Why not? Lumber mill, yeah. We want a plank production building and this is just pretty damn good. Tool shop, we like making tools on coral forest because we get crystallized dew from the trees, but the crude workstation makes pipes as well. And yeah, that uses uh, crystallized dew. So I don't always like just like going for a simple like tool rush game or something, but I kind of think because it makes tool, it makes pipes, that could be quite handy. So let's put the woodcutter here. Here, I think. And then I guess I will need the crude workstation. Uh, let's put you there. Our orders are up. Um, yeah, let's have a look at those. Glades or tablets? Well, I can't guarantee a tablet anytime soon, but I am going to be opening up glades soon, so I'll go for that one. Another tablet or trade routes and pack of crops. Let's do the trading, because like I can't guarantee I can get one of those. This is probably halfway across the map. <laughs> Glade events or 20 beaver resolve. Ooh, uh, let's go lost in the woods. You know, beavers sometimes can be a bit hard to get their resolve up so i'd rather do something i can i mean the rebuilding ruins i can't always guarantee but you know we'll figure it out okay so the llama mill is up now uh let's go okay so we connect pipes here so we can actually turn these on without any water needed so these can stay on that's really good so this one's extra production speed uh extra production yield chance and this one is speed as well and these ones are worker resolve so yeah i'm just gonna leave them on i actually want to grab the beaver and put him in there so this one needs storm water so we're gonna have to wait for the storm i guess for water for that one next building was the crude workstation yeah let's connect that too turn that on we don't need planks from you we don't need pipes from you necessarily unless we don't build the tool shop yet but we do want some Loss. Uh, not right now though. We have a little bit left. So instead, put some shelters down because we want to house our people. Okay, so that should be enough to get the first level of encampment. So we'll get a plus two to global resolve and uh, extra hearth resistance from blight rot. I can't forget to put down a blight post. We need some more bricks for that. Okay, so that means I'm going to steal... You know what? Let me just leave you in there. Let me put the lizard in the crude workstation. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, keep some wool cutters on. Lizard in here. And then we have a builder. So in the lumber mill, turn off that stuff. Yeah, you, you don't need that. Yeah, I want 30 planks. And as the storm 
is coming up. When it ends, we'll go into this glade. And then, what's another one? Oh, over here? Oh, that's far away. Let's start making our way over there then. In the meantime, we want to finish building our little uh, hub area here. Oh, I'm running out of space. So let's bring you back here. Let's open up here. Honestly, a bit more important. And then I'll put a little park over here. That will get us the upgraded hub. And then I cannot forget the field kitchen. Wait, what other buildings did we actually get? We got the provisioner. That's not bad because potentially make biscuits in the field kitchen. But for now, I have oil for blade events. I'm going to use the coal and our meat that we have. So I'm going to turn the meat off here. I'll turn the roots off as well. So like it's only eight, but that's that's fine. Maybe we'll get another building to increase that production. We're hostility too. So let's just take some woodcutters off. Should just be you guys. There we go. What was this one? Uh, negative five if they're not housed. Right. Oh, we need one more house. Let's put you here. Oh, they're all in negative. Okay, time to take everyone off. There we go. Oh, and you're collecting stormwater. Is that what the lumber mill needed? Yeah. So I might throw in someone else there. So I definitely want another collector. <laughs> Field kitchen is up. I'm going to chuck a harpy in there because, yeah, I do want to make jerky as soon as possible. And the rain collector's up too. So I'm going to put you guys in there. And let's open up over here. I'm going to put a harpy on over here. And then... Oh, yes, trading. I cannot forget. Let's put that here. We might need that for a glade event. And we'll start opening up that glade. Firstly, cornerstone. Ooh, this looks like a water one. Food production speed is increased by 10% for every 50 units of drizzle water stored. Ooh. Okay, so um, if I see a cornerstone that has something to do with the water system, I'm definitely going to get it. So let's do that. Now these, this should increase the tank capacity, shouldn't it? So we're at 100 now. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Put you guys there. And then grab more people. No, I feel like we need food. Because it's going to all go soon. So I'll put another one in the field kitchen. So we make jerky. And then a beaver in this woodcutter along with two harpy friends. And then you guys can... Ooh. It's open now. Let's see. Soil, meat, a bunch of very nice buildings. Uh, what do we have here? Forsaken Crypt. Okay. Uh, actually, so you know what? You come out of this woodcutter. Then again, I probably should get as much wood as I can, can't, shouldn't I? So we'll leave one rain collector on and see how that goes. Yeah, we'll put you guys in there and then use our oil. So you get negative six to global resolve for every 10 amber. Okay, well, I don't have 10 amber yet. That's good. Oh, tablets. What was our... We didn't get the tablet order, did we? So let's do the reputation and the amber. That's nice. Okay, so let's cut around here. We might use this soil. And we got the supplier, which we probably don't actually need. So I could get rid of that soon. Oh, Zorg. Uh, hello. Trading. Oh, show only available. Very nice. I I'm sure there's a setting in the settings that have this ticked on all the time. I might save my money and what i want to do instead is i'll forget to do makeshift post and make some make some uh, provisions here let's put this on 12 and i also need five packs of crops uh here we go what can i use for that i guess the roots we've got mushrooms vegetables or grain hmm i can collect the vegetables with a with a small herb bullet or foragers camp here potentially be what I need to do. So let me turn off vegetables here and turn on them being used for the crops. So let's put the harpy in there. The order is up. Uh, do I want to open these yet? I'm a little bit sort of still getting on my feet here. Let's move this woodcutter up because you want to go around here. What was our other buildings we got? We got the provisioner and the tool shop. So yeah, I actually, I want to put the tool shop down. Let's put you there because I, I don't want these guys making pipes in here. I guess I'll put the provisioner down as well. Just so I don't forget. Oh, what I can't forget is the black post. Yes. Let's move you there. Black post can go here. Yeah, we want to use the coal. Too bad we haven't found any coal to put a mine on. Hmm. Hopefully there's some in there. Okay, the forager is up. So what I'm going to do is 
Um, yeah, there's some people that can come out. You come out of the lumber mill. You're not doing anything in the crude workstation. So, yeah, you go forage some vegetables. And then the carpenter. I don't actually need this one either. Oh, we do need a building to, to salvage, don't we? Yeah. I think of the carpenter because we have a lumber mill for planks. And then we have a tool shop for tools. Luxury goods is the only other thing it makes. And I feel like, you know, that's not that important, I guess. Nah, let, let's just uh, salvage, uh, whatever this is, salvage it. Okay, so tool shop is up. We want this to firstly make pipes with our crystallized juice. Let's do 20. Speaking of pipes, we have to connect them. Pipes. Oh, yeah, we're already out of pipes now. Let's put, where's that beaver? I'm going to take the beaver out of the carpenter and put the beaver in the tool shop so they can start making some pipes. And then we can also pipe the uh, field kitchen. Because <laughs> I might actually stop them from making stuff now. We have a bit of a, a jerky, but I don't want to waste any potential... I should have... I should have connected pipes here way earlier than other buildings. Because we're running out of food quite a bit. So that means I want trappers getting these insects... But what do we need? Is it the parts or the... Oh, it's parts. Okay. Do I need to delete the rain collector? Maybe I should. Just for now. Just so we can get a bunch of insects. So we can we can continue making jerky. Oh, I like this number. Roots that can potentially be started. Nice. We can sell a bunch of this stuff. Yeah, let's sell all of that. And the trappers is up. So... So what I'm going to do is Harpy can go in the forager camp and that lizard can go in the trappers. Now I need you, sir, to deliver these pipes so we can connect our field kitchen and our tool shop and everything else. Low on food. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Let's do instead, let's grab all these trees not connected to glades because these ones have meat in them. Nice reputation from uh, this event over here. So let me just connect these pipes. And turn these on. Oh wow, there's so much rainwater being used. And then I can put someone back in the field kitchen now. With our zero meat. Now I need to take my woodcutters off. Let's take those guys off. And those guys. That beaver can stay. I don't think we're dealing with any blight yet. Oh my god, we've got three cysts already. Uh, okay. Well, storm two should be fine. Oh, we need some more housing. I forgot. Uh, let's just put another shelter down over here. So I want this woodcutter to... You know what? Let's just come around here. I'm going to just get them to cut around here when, when the storm ends. And yeah, we just need to think about our food now. Oh, this is a herbalist camp. Who would be useful? Not really. I don't know if there's any... Oh, our harpies need to be favoured. Oh my god. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was so close. Our lizards should last a while. Uh, let's get in this glade. Okay, so stop favoring the harpies. Let us uh, put our woodcutters back in. Let's look at the buildings. Greenhouse, plantation, okay. Oh, we could use the greenhouse. This uses water, doesn't it? That seems like appropriate for the for the challenge. So yeah, let's get that with our soil over here. So do we want to make another little hub here? Yeah, let me put that there. And then like the greenhouse is just going to go. Let's put that there. Firstly, cornerstone though. Oh, burnt to a crisp. Heck yeah. If, it, if it's not going to give me coal to, to mine or a kiln or anything like that, I definitely want burnt to a crisp. So we get 20 coal for every three burnt blights, uh, blight rot sis. And if we are going to be using... Oh, more pipes. <laughs> we're going to be using so much water. I think we're going to get quite a few sis. Okay, we can trade some things. Yeah, let's get rid of that more people time yeah let's get some more lizards and beavers and did we have orders oh we did okay what is this don't fell any trees for no thank you i don't want to do that <laughs> have at least four buildings with rainwater engine installed yeah this is this is good uh wait can we already hand this in oh, we can we had six buildings we have 30 stone 30 plant fiber and 30 oil very nice and next order use 180 units of rainwater any type in rain engines in production buildings yeah let's let's do that one three people three part uh, four parts and 30 skewers so that's going to be simple very easy we're already maxed out our tank here that definitely means we need another oh Wait, so this can act as a tank without anyone actually being in there, can't it? I'm pretty sure. Let's let's do that. 
Nice. Oh, we got a stormwater geyser. Coal, if we need it. Moss, herbs. Okay, not horrible. We have a withered tree, so... Oh my god. Spawns two blight rot cysts every two minutes for every dangerous glade discovered. Okay, well, let's use our 30 oil. I'll use blizzards there. I guess this shouldn't be too bad, right? We've only got a little bit of cysts in the first place, so let's get working on that. Oh, the geyser, though, would be quite handy. So... Oh, we need some planks, okay. Low on food, yes. I need to think about my food issues let's look here for smoke oh smokehouse good for jerky we can make wine pickle goods see these need some extra production that i can't quite do yet temple is a bit too early to use and we don't really need this stuff so yeah i think i'm gonna go smokehouse very nice building okay there we go oh we need some we need some basic materials here let's see i need someone back in the crude workstation don't i Okay, so let's just let things build for a second. Do we need some planks yet? Yeah, we need someone in the lumber mill. You guys in the rain collector are... Maybe I get you out. Oh, a trader. <gasps> Lowest hostility by 50. I feel like this is something that, like, if you have the money for it, you might just always get... Yeah. Let's get that. Thank you, sir. So our hostility has dropped a bit. Okay, so our tool shop has also stopped production. You like being in here, though. Um, I might leave you in there for a second. So another person can go in the crude workstation to get us some basic materials for the smokehouse. I think maybe, yeah, you can produce that jerky and then I'm going to make you stop because we want to be making it in the smokehouse. I'm not getting much meat from the trees. Let's just get these meat trees here. Do I have a fully staffed woodcutters? Uh, I have two. Maybe I can delete this one for now. We'll get those parts back. Okay, yeah, we only have these woodcutters here. Ooh, we've done the delivery order. We get 10 amber, 20 grain, and four people. More people. Oh, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I don't have parts for a mine either. Uh, let's see. I don't need the forager anymore. I, I'm just thinking, like, maybe maybe putting a mine down. Oh, there's actually four there. I thought it said only two. <gasps> That's nice. Let's move you over here. Let's open that up. I'm going to delete the forager and then we can put a storage and a hearth here. Okay, storage has got to go first. So let's put that there. Do we have the parts for it? I think we do. And then we're also using parts for the rain collector. Oh man, I don't know. Goods received. What the heck? After each storm, every trade you complete during drizzle will give you five random packs of goods. Okay, cool. That's, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Additional cysts, voice of the forest. Oh, yes. Okay. High level of corruption. <gasps> what the heck? 10. Oh, no. I need to upgrade my hub. I need to upgrade this even more. Oh, thank goodness. I can just put some decorations down and we will get the second level of hub. So we'll get 10% global production speed and more hearth resistance. But I think what's more important is the blight post. <laughs> Let's put you guys in there. It's going to use up all my coal. Oh, and I can use oil as well. Yeah, let, let's use the oil then. And then I will put down some decorations. I need a garden and the park. So there we go. Ah, here we go. The other green collector's up, so we have more tank. So I want to work on the next hub level, which is plank making. So I want you to deliver planks, please. Okay, nice. More... Oh, Blight Swarm. Ah, so this is from this one. Ten cysts appear every third clearance. So what are we at? Oh, my God. Oh, no, I cannot deal with those. Uh, guys, please. I can't even put, like, a down another one. Let me possibly call a trader. I'll see what they have, maybe. And then keep trading. What have you got? Yeah, let's get rid of those. And we'll look at... Do we look at the orders? Okay, so I can hand this in. But I'll just have a bunch of people I'm not sure what to do with yet. I'm still figuring things out. So, yeah, I'm going to actually pick these. 12 trade routes or two neighborhoods. Uh, oh, the plank is nice. The parts are nice, though, as well. Yeah, I feel like I have to get the parts for the mine. So I'll do the trade routes. Welcome new villagers or get 50 amber in a market. I might not choose that one yet. I'll put that in the back of my mind. Oh, I smoke castles up. <gasps> okay, uh, let's stop making jerky. Delete those from here. Turn that off. Smokehouse, let's chuck in a lizard. You'll make these way more efficiently. Uh, yeah. Still one from the river tree so you can have a friend. 
And then we can't forget to connect pipes. And there we go. Let's see what this is actually. A minute 22 and then this makes it 40 seconds. Yeah, that's great. Actually, what was it in the field kitchen? This is 55 seconds. A minute 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not that I'm using this anymore, but that was, that's pretty great. How are we going? Oh my goodness. Can we put the mine down yet? I still need some parts and I'm out of planks and bricks. Again, I feel like I probably have to delete this tank again. Yeah, so I'm going to delete the rain collector, which is unfortunate. Oh, Zorg's here. What did I want Zorg again for? Was it like coal or it was purging fire or something? Oh, well, you can come back. I don't want you right now. Additional morses. Oh, my goodness. I have 26. Well, okay, I'm going to lose people then. I can't not lose people. I could probably have a, a bunch of coal, a bunch of purging fire, and I would still lose people. Oh, well, look, I'll deal with it. That's part of the game. So over here, yeah, let's definitely put that mine down. We have the storage coming along too. So we just need bricks and planks, which you guys should be doing fine. And then you guys, ah, we're out of stone. Okay, we are getting stone from the trees. I think it's the pink ones. Yep. So you just come chop around here. Where is my other woodcutter? Oh, you're around here. Okay, I want you to chop around here. Oh, there's stone right here. My goodness. I can build this, but is this not going to take up a part for our mine? Our lizards are happy. They have some jerky. That's good at least. I should. Do we have any fabric? Put down like a happy house because they're going to get really sad soon. More sis. <laughs> How many are we at? 31. Oh, we're done. I've only got eight fuel. That's hilarious. Look, they're going to have to start using the wood. I probably could have called another trader to like buy some purging fire or uh, fuel for it, but oh well. Let's see how hilarious this is. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see who's dying. Scout. Okay, well at least he's done. Crude workstation and a woodcutter. That's fine, that's fine. I'm going to put the lizard in the fire and let's favor the harpy quickly. Okay, are we gonna get more deaths? We are. Firekeeper missing. Yeah, of course you are. Let me put this lizard in here. Look, we're at hostility one, that's great. Look, I didn't even need to take my woodcutters off. That's so funny. Okay, um, let's stop favoring those guys. Oh, we almost lost another batch of people. Okay, take you guys off. 21 cis still. So let's hand in this order. 10 amber, 20 grain, four people. Good, we just got our people back. Plus copper ore, two wildfire essences, 25 coal. Nice. And we're going to look at our cornerstone. Ooh, what is this? Newcomers will arrive 15% quicker for every two levels of standing you have with other settlements. Uh, you know. Wait, hold on. We want something like this. Increases the hearth's resistance by 50 for every impatient point you have. Yeah, I might need to get this. <laughs> okay, so who are we missing? Uh, we need a beaver in the lumber mill. And then I can put the other two beavers in there. The tree is done, thank goodness. And the mine is about to come along. And then I can build a small hearth. Look, this is coming along. It's slow, but it's coming. And then I do have another hearth over here. Hmm, I need some more lizards, don't I? You know what? Get out of the tree. And then if I come back over here, put you in the fire. I don't really need this uh, hearth over here, but it might be good to create another little hub. So I'm not even, oh my goodness, I'm not even thinking about uh, dangerous glades right now. <laughs> Maybe I focus, I think I'm just going to focus on building my, my housing and another little settlement just to help myself here. That can go there and our mine is up. So I'm going to put two harpies in there. I can grab more people actually. Let's go the two beavers and the two lizards. I'm going to put the beaver, two beavers in there. Actually, I don't really need to, do I? Because they're nowhere near their threshold. I'll only put them in there if like they need to be in there during the storm or something. So beaver can go in the woodcutters. Lizard, you can go in the smokehouse. 
We have a harpy in the makeshift post. Okay, that should be all good for now. We do have someone in the greenhouse, I guess. Um, let me think about that. So uh, I need to check if our bricks are coming along okay. They are. So yeah, someone else can go in the crude workstation. Now, what about our pipes? Is this all piped? Every other building? Okay. Now, we did not get any stormwater. Oh, I could have put someone else in here. That sucks. And we don't have any parts to actually build another one. Okay, so, oh, it's because, yeah, so the storm's two minutes and the rest of the season's are four, so that's probably why we don't get much stormwater. Let's look at the buildings. Smelter, hmm, well, we don't need supplier. Cookhouse, potentially, for skewers and even biscuits. This is actually looking quite nice. Do I actually, oh, I have some green. It will make a little bit of flour. Technically, hold on. We have uh, mushrooms here. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's meant to be. Ooh, okay. Uh, ooh, I'll have to come back to this one because, like, coats are nice. Training gear. Do we have another place that makes training gear? We actually don't. Okay, let's think about one thing at a time. So we can actually build some houses over here. Yeah, we got a little bit of uh, fabric and we also have some planks as well. So we can get this to the first level of encampment. This is only still the first. No, this is the second one. Oh, we got 20 people here. So let's put a garden back over here. We'll at least get the first on all of them. How's our tool shop? So tool shop is good for pipes. I could be making tools, but to be honest, like I feel like that's such a, a coral forest thing to do. So instead I'm gonna use crystallized you to make pipes. <laughs> so maybe you come out of there and help build, but there's not really anything to build, is there? <gasps> our sister's still 23. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a lot of coal. Okay, stop using that stuff. We're getting a good amount of coal from the mine, and I think we got some as a reward. So, Harpy, you go help in there, because we're definitely going to need another blight post, maybe? Where are they? Maybe, hopefully not. They could be fast enough. <laughs> Probably not, though. Well, if I get parts from an order, I could maybe get parts from this order, and then, then I can make another blight post. I don't have enough parts for this stonecutter's camp, though. Hmm, okay, uh, woodcutter, you're done. I want maybe stone trees, so that's pink, isn't it? Yeah, so let's have you guys cut all the way around here, and then I probably won't need... Look, let's delete the stonecutter camp. Can I make another black post? Oh, I still need bricks, but at least I don't need that many parts. The, this number's scary. That's crazy. And the reason that's being used so much, even if I'm not producing anything, is because, like, this dude is taking some, even though they're not making anything. So I should take them out, because the resolve is being being used. Let's see how fast these guys use it. Yeah, that's crazy. Look, uh, we'll just get some bricks first. We make them in the crude workstation, then things should be okay. Uh, we've done this order. So we've used a bunch of rainwater. We get three people, three parts. There we go, and 30 skewers. So that means we should easily make the stone cutter, right? Here we go. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, trader. Have I been trading? I haven't. I need a bunch of trade routes. Okay, good. This is why we keep building materials because we can sell them here instead of the actual trading post. Don't want to sell that part and I can sell the coal though. Oh, we have a building, don't we? Uh, did we actually build the other ones? We got the cookhouse, right. I have not built that yet because I'm sort of waiting on, I guess, <laughs> being able to protect my settlement. So we do have orders though. I need to get the market for this one. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, this one's a tavern. We need ale. The tavern did just come up though, didn't it? Let's get it. It's expensive to build is the issue and I just need to buy the ale. Stonecutter is up. I can put some people in there now. My beavers can go in the mine and then we have some more harpies. Put you in the black post. At least they are making enough fuel for it. So if anything, we just need staff. Oh, I won't have enough staff for it. That's so close though. Uh, let me take my woodcutters off. So we go down hostility and everyone's not too sad. Probably kill a bunch of people. Oh my goodness. But I feel like it's an achievement for me <laughs> because I almost got this one up. Oh, it's up. Hold on. Let's man that. Oh, and you know what else I should man? The other rain collector. Let's see. Will these guys be able to help at all? Probably not in time, but they'll help for the next... next death wave, I guess. 
Okay, who's gonna die? Oh, Firekeeper. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, Firekeeper, Blight Fighter. We'll put you in there. And then the Rain Collector Worker. Yeah, put you in there as well. You like being in there, so that's good. Let's see. These guys should help this one. Yeah, and we're, we're down enough. Good. Okay, very nice. So we got six there. So I shouldn't need all these guys staffing these. Let's put the woodcutters back. And Harpy back in the Rain Collector. And then you guys there. I'm actually out of workers. Uh, you can stop collecting stone. Now, cornerstone. So we've got some amber. Traders are quicker. This could be handy for our trade order. I don't really want to reroll if I don't have to. I know I'm trying to pick like rainwater themed cornerstones, but I think I might go for this one. Just so we can do some trading. Let's go those ones. Now, how are we doing here? We, oh, we see we did not get very much rainwater. Yeah, these guys in the lumber mill probably use it really fast. And the crude workstation as well. Oh, wait, no, these guys use drizzle water. Oh, we're out of drizzle water. Wow. Okay, well, I'll leave uh, two people in there then. Oh, we have the uh, first hub level, so that's good. We got some more resistance and some global resolve, which is good because these guys are actually happy for once. They got some jerky, they got some nice comfy homes. And then this second hub, we just need a builder. So it shouldn't be too long on that. And then I'll delete our shelters eventually start building some normal houses for them oh we got our building materials thanks to our finders keepers there we go and more people let's get a bunch of lizards okay i want more lizards in the smoke house and the trappers i'm going to grab you guys woodcutters and we're just even if it takes a long time we're going to go in this glade we've only opened two glades so uh, yeah i think we need one more <laughs> And then we need to rebuild something. Ah, we were in the middle of the carpenter. So yeah, I'll get the carpenter done. So we'll get this building for our ruin in this order. And then this glade will also count for that order. We're doing some trading for the export order. Now we need a market and we do have the tavern, don't we? We can build that, but we can't build that yet because we want to build some species specific housing. Let me build. Ooh, what was that? Uh, Lizard Resolve getting me a reputation point. That's really nice. Let's put two harpy houses there. And let's check out building. So we don't really need the kiln because we have a mine. Training gear is good in the cooperage. This isn't bad. Let me first maybe put down the tavern. So the tavern gives out ale and training gear. I don't think I'll be able to make ale, but I can definitely make the training gear. Yeah, I'm actually going to pick the cooperage because i could always make oh i have the cookhouse don't i yes let's put the cookhouse there because we want to use our jerky to make skewers i think we're also going to use our flour where's our flour gone oh provisioner hold on you know what why do i have you in the makeshift post excuse me get out of here i'm going to leave that there though in the makeshift post yeah why am I not doing this? <laughs> we can make way better uh, efficient provisions here. I can also make some flour as well. Eventually then we could make biscuits and skewers. Oh, we got some more crops. Can I sell any of these? There we go. Yep, let's sell those. And then we'll slowly start making a, a slightly nicer settlement. Oh, this one's done. I need a lizard for it though. You come out of the crude workstation and go in here. Is there any building I haven't turned on yet? I wish I could turn it on when it's building. Oh, I can. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to open this yet. So you guys just hang around here. I feel like I want to open it at the end of the storm. I know it's like really late to open the third glade, but I feel like we're actually doing okay for reputation. We've got this hearth going. I'm going to move the shelter over. That's a lot cheaper. Oh, a trader. Nice. Let's do those. Well, I have to keep 50 of my amber. You know what? I'm going to get more amber, so I'm going to buy 60 of it. Let's do that. So the tavern is something I can put down soon and actually do the cups and glasses order soon as well. Uh, you know what? I'm going to quickly favor the harpies just so they can give us a little bit of reputation from their resolve. I can build a garden over here. Let's put it there. And then, oh, almost. Need one more person over here. This will be all ready for our first level of encampment. How's our cyst still? 12? Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So our cookhouse is up. 
I'm going to swap the lizard out and put the lizard in here. He can start making some skewers and biscuits. We just, unfortunately, are out of uh, rainwater for a lot of these buildings. So I definitely, I just really want more parts. Do any of these orders give parts? Ah, the trade route ones. Yes, uh, let's, let's get rid of that one then. Oh, wait, <laughs> I only needed two more. So they should be done soon. And then I can put down another rain collector. Okay, storm is coming. Let's take you guys off. And I'm going to man these. Okay, I can actually maybe leave these woodcutters on. Let's see how it goes. Okay, easily done. During this storm, I'm going to open up this blade here. <laughs> I've only opened up two. And then take you guys out of the blight posts. And you know what? You guys can keep gathering around here. I'm going to put beavers back in and the harpy. As these guys are opening up before that, let's look at the cornerstone. None of these are water related. Kind of want to skip these ones and look for something a little more related if I can. No. So I don't really care about artifacts. I don't really want this extra hostility. Consumption control disabled. I don't really like either. So I'm going to do frequent caravans because we get a plus three global resolve for 60 seconds every time we finish a trade route. And we are trading quite a bit. So let's keep that up. I'll do that one. So let's do the export order we get a plus one production to packs four people and eight parts let's put down a rain collector check the orders see if it's like a glade one or something like that 25 packs of trade goods or for fuel need for this stuff i need to make pickled goods how am i making trade goods ah flour potentially yeah that's actually doable um yeah let's try that one let's start you on that one sir now I want to see what's in this glade. Okay, what have we got? Got a geyser, we got some coal. We have fallen harpy scientists, not bad. Let's get you guys working on that. This does have parts, however, I feel like I might not need them anymore. So I'm going to go for the reputation. <laughs> so we have some coal if we need to use it. We do have this geyser though. Oh, parts. Oh, pipes it needs. Does this need to be manned? I don't remember. An automaton, right. If I get that upgrade, it doesn't need to be manned. Oh, we're getting some more goods. We're getting quite a lot of stuff from this finder's keepers. We have also done lost in the woods. We've opened glades and rebuilt a ruin. We get plus one stone, plus one clay and six tools. So we're handing in that one. We got rid of the carpenter over here. We have the supplier. Flower, planks, water skins. No, I don't want that either. I'm kind of wanting to hand this in because we get flour and pottery from that, which isn't bad. Then there was also the herbalist camp. Actually a bunch of herbs around. So maybe I will get that one. So you guys get those. Okay, next thing I want to do is definitely we need to eventually put this tavern down. I need to put that down before I forget about it. And then I need to not forget about housing and also the rain collector. So this is when I definitely want more people. I'm not sure who to get here. Let's just go the harpies. And I'm going to put the harpies in the rain collector. A beaver in the lumber mill. Let me delete this field kitchen if I can. I don't need that anymore. I love how we're literally just surviving on like jerky. <laughs> Yeah, jerky, a little bit of skewers. Ah, so did we not have a camp getting these uh, vegetables here? I think that was what my plan was. Uh, I'm not sure what else I can get to make skewers. Ooh, so ignoring the skewers for a second. Advanced rain collector. I definitely want this, don't I? So this is just better. Hold on, hold on. Uh, five parts. and But this one also costs five parts. No, I could put both of these down. Okay, let's try putting that one down. Harpy sad. Why? Oh, right. Fallen brethren. Ooh, the guys is up. The automaton. We need a wildfire essence and two pipes. So if I just upgrade it. Okay. So he just gets it himself. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to favor the harpy so they're not going to cry on us. Not bad. I quite like this. He's pretty fast too. So that will definitely help our drizzle water then. Ooh, the advanced one is up. So... Happy, happy, happy. So we're at 200 tank now. So I guess I could delete this one now. Uh, and build another advanced one. Oh, wait, we need pipes. Okay, uh, I need you back in the tool shop. Please make me some pipes. Okay. Ooh, hold on. This order's just done. Wait, why is this order done? Oh, it's not serving ale. It's having ale. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't start serving it then because I... <laughs> 
<laughs> I would have uh, not been able to do this order. So we get plus two to ale, 30 ale and water skins. So we can do that one. I haven't made training gear. Was I going to make training gear somewhere? I got a building to make it in the Cooperage. Yep. Let me first. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Slow down, game. We got 18 cysts. Okay. Look, this is all fine because we have enough purging fire to deal with it. We're going to have six people to deal with it. So I just need some planks. Can these guys just deliver them? Okay. We're getting a good pile of them. Trader is here. So I just need 50 and 15. So I need 65 amber left. I can buy a little bit of things. Maybe I'm just going to save my money. Trapper's camp is done. Uh, there was some insects over here. Yeah. Okay, you guys start getting those. We're fine for the food. We got jerky and we can kind of make other stuff, but not really. Could roots be used here? Actually, yeah, I'm going to buy some roots. So I'll buy $12 worth of roots. Yeah, hopefully you can make some skewers. Uh, we should upgrade this mine, shouldn't we? Yes, we do have the 20 planks to do it. So that's good. Oh, we have 300 coal. My goodness. What do we need for our orders? We need a, a market, don't we? Hmm. Could we roll until I get it? Let's see. Okay, I'll go one more reroll. Ah, oh, nice. Let's get it. That will help with that order. We just need to do some trading and then we'll get our amber back. And then I'll give them some better housing. <laughs> I feel like I said that an hour ago. Oh, our advanced rain collector is full. Uh, what do you guys need? Yeah, pipes, right. You were making pipes in here. Go deliver them. It's unfortunate that like our storm water ones are still underutilized. How is our 22 blight rot? That's fine. Okay, that one's up now. So we can use it as a tank. And nice, our fallen brethren are done. I'm going to take you out of that. Stone cutter's done as well. There's no more stone here, is there? That means I can delete this. And then what I'm going to do now, everyone man the black post. And then everyone else man the rain collectors. Oh, you guys can get out. So you guys can go in there. And then you guys can come out too. You guys maybe go in the tavern? How about that? Okay, let's see how we go here. <laughs> we have... We, yeah, we have a bunch of uh, purging fire. Let's see how fast they can do it. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, nice. Very nice. And we got burned to a crisp... Ah, right. This is how our coal is actually... <laughs> this is how we're getting a lot of coal. This is really nice. So, oh, and our storm water, yay! So let me take you guys out. I don't know, I'll leave one of each in there. We're all piped, uh, nice. Let's put the harpies in the tavern. Then we can hand in our trade goods order and our amber. So we get five people, 40 pies and 10 parts. We can have even more rainwater. Look at our cornerstone. Gain 10 skills for every 10 pickled goods. Hold up, do I have a bunch of containers? I actually do. I guess I could now get a forager's camp though. And this is right next to the storage. So look, I'm going to put that there. I guess I could make the pickled goods instead of the skewers. You know what, let's try it. I'm, I'm kind of just interested in testing that out. So I need to put down the field kitchen again. So let's put that back there. And then we go down here, put all these on and all that. So we're going to be making a bunch of pickled goods. And in return, we're going to be making skewers. So we don't need skewers here. So we can instead just make biscuits with you guys and we can trade as well. Yep, let's keep trading. We do have another building, but okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Delete, delete, delete. Let's just build some houses here and let's put a beaver down, why not? Our black post is still full, so I'm gonna take uh, you guys out of there. Let's put you guys back in the collector. I don't know, let's put you guys in the greenhouse, I guess. <laughs> I've not even used this. And then we've still got a bunch more people. Oh yes, we need some people in here. Uh, let's use the lizards. We have more people, but I'm not going to get them yet. I could open just one more glade to get just another point of reputation. Just to like help us over the edge. But while I do that, I might actually like take woodcutters off. Just so these guys can get into their reputation thresholds. Yeah, that's, that's what we want to see. There we go. Why are these guys happy as well? I'm not even, oh, I'm not even burning coal. I've been burning wood this whole time. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get this one overdone. A corrupted caravan. 
Oh my God, he's just having a nap, guys. Okay, he's just snoozing. Let's use our coal. Every two minutes, Blight Rot sis a spawn for each earned hostility level. <gasps> Let's get this done. Over and done with, please. Do I have any sea marrow? I don't think I do. Hmm. I wonder if you will. Um, yeah, I'll wait for the trader to come. I don't know if that trader has sea marrow, but if they do, I'll get some. And you know what? I feel like my fuel is fine. I'm going to delete this woodcutter. I have one woodcutter. That will get us down to hostility five. And maybe these guys? No, they're actually sad because of this. Okay, they're too sad to give me any resolve, but that's fine. Oh, we need the field kitchen. We were going to make pickled goods, weren't we? Let's turn this up. Let's put you guys in here. There we go. These guys should be collecting vegetables. And we can make pickled goods and then the pickled goods will create skewers for us to eat. There's the trader. Oh, you do have sea marrow. I need amber though. What I'm going to do instead is sell like a bunch of my coal. There we go. And then I'm just going to use it. Let's burn all of it. It's not going to last, but it's, it goes down to like two minutes. So it's probably going to be like three or four minutes, which is good because it should end before clearance. Okay, um, I can favor one of these. I'm just going to favor the lizards to get some resolve. More blight rot. Right, friend or foe. Let's see. 24, right. While we uh, deal with that, we need a bunch of lizard houses, don't we? There's going to be a bunch of lizards in these houses, so I think I need way more. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to put those here. More seas. <laughs> How many now? 37. But their houses will be done soon. I'm going to stop favoring them just before the storm hits. And I'm going to take my woodcutters off. I need to man my light posts. Rain collectors are manned as well. I think that should be fine. Oh, well, it's not going to be fine. I have 44 sis. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let me check the trading first just so I can sell my stuff. Let's do that. Look, this is all fine. Come on, guys. You can... Oh, I only have 20 fuel, so... I guess I didn't make enough purging fire. <laughs> uh, how long have we got? 20 seconds left on this. At least we won't get any more cysts from this freaking thing. <laughs> Waiter died. Oh, well, I, I need someone in here now. You know what? Crude workstation person, come out and go back in the tavern. <laughs> We want people still manned in the tavern because we get plus three to global resolve from that. I just, I should have put down another bite post. I had parts for it too. Just in case I'm putting another one down. <laughs> Trapper dead, forager dead, blight fighter dead. Okay, that's fine. Cornerstone, let's see. Imagine if I got this skin 10 amber for every time a villager dies. Oh, what about firekeeper armor? Every burn cyst removes an additional 50 corruption. <gasps> Wait, I still have 40 sis well next storm i have to burn all of this anyway so i'm kind of curious if i can burn it all so well unless i win based on their resolve i can also just do this order small trappers camp is done okay yeah we're, we're done with the trappers camp at least uh <laughs> we're doing a bunch of trade routes let's let's keep going with those um yeah, their resolve might be just a little bit too high for me to, <laughs> to see how this goes. Regardless though, I think with enough fuel and all of these manned, probably could deal with it. Oh, a trader is here. Let me just buy the hostility decrease. And what I would do is start building this market, but I probably won't need it. <laughs> you know what, if anything, I'm, I'm more surprised that my impatience stayed as low as it did it, with so many deaths. That is crazy to me. Stick around if you want to see the big year nine blight storm, because I'll skip to that. But in conclusion, I think it can be hard to realize in the middle of the game, the buffs from the rain engine, like the time reduction and chance for double yield are actually really powerful. And you know what? The resolve bonus isn't too bad if you can deal with the increased water intake as well. I thought I was definitely going to have to deal with a lot higher impatience and all that, but I guess 30 plus this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Here we go. Ooh, that was satisfying. Yay, 
we did it. <laughs> Thank you for watching.